Hi everyone, my name is Matt, and today I'm working with Psych2Go to bring you this extremely informative video. Today I'll be giving you some advice on dating people with social anxiety for all you extroverts out there and those of you who have little to no problem socializing. As someone who deals with social anxiety and anxiety in general on a daily basis, these tips are important to build a relationship with someone who has trouble socializing. I will say, this advice is just from my perspective. Everybody's different, but I feel like I have a pretty good grasp on what it takes for people like me to form successful relationships or even close friendships. Without further ado, Let's get into it. First thing, be straightforward with them. We're shy people. That's why they call it social anxiety. Sure, we may muster up the courage to ask you out, but I never know what to do afterwards. Do I make a move? Do I go in for the kiss? Like, what? What do I do? We need to date extroverts or nothing's gonna freaking happen in the relationship. For example, I dated a very shy person, someone even shyer than me, surprisingly, and we ended up breaking up because we never really communicated. There needs to be that one person in the relationship that can initiate this stuff at first. Did you hear that last part? at first. Usually when a shy person gets to know someone, they warm up to them and they become a lot more extroverted with them. So the straightforward thing is the push to get that ball rolling. Second thing to take into consideration, we're not mind readers. What I mean by this is if something is bothering you, tell us. This kind of ties in with the whole straightforward thing, but bear with me. People with anxiety aren't the biggest fans of conflict. And 9 out of 10 people want to know what the problem is so they can resolve it. In an ideal relationship, you get what you give. So communication, especially about something that's bothering you, is a must. An ignored problem doesn't go away. It just gets worse. Third thing, reassurance is an amazing thing. Look, we all have our bad days. With people with anxiety and people like me that juggle depression with that, when it rains, it freaking pours. What everyone needs in this situation is reassurance from their significant other. They need to know that they're wanted, needed, loved, what have you. I mean, of course, they already know that, but it's nice to be reminded when you're down. The last piece of advice I have to offer, panic attacks happen, sometimes for no reason at all. This goes for your significant other, your friends, your family, etc. Just be aware that they happen. And it's not easy to get out of them. And it's near impossible to get someone to stop having one. All you can do is hold them, let them know you're not going anywhere, and just wait it out. Panic attacks are one of the scariest things I've ever experienced, and all you can really do is just let it run its course. Understanding that and just being there for the person is all you really need to do. Well, I hope you guys learned something from this. But remember, like in any relationship, you get what you put into it. Nobody likes a selfish partner. If you have any tips that I might have missed, feel free to put them down in the comments. If you like staring at my face for this duration, maybe you consider checking out my channel. It'll be down in the description and maybe in an annotation somewhere around here. I make vlogs talking about what's going on on a pier or what I've recently done, and I try to add some humor to it when I can. And for when I'm feeling analytical, I make game reviews. I had a great time talking to you guys today, and hopefully I'll see you real soon. Have a great one.